Wake up, lazy bones. Why don't you work hard like me? I'm going out again tomorrow. What do you think of that? I suffer dreadfully and no one cares. You watch me, little Edward, as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you. Goodbye, little Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. Rubbish, Henry. You don't work hard enough. I say, Toby, that Harold, that stuck-up whirlybird thing, says I'm slow and out of date. Just let him wait. I'll show him. Electric indeed. Electric indeed, he snorted. Oh, said Duck, if you're Revo Thinger Gummy, perhaps you would collect my trucks while I fetch Gordon's coaches. You're a muckle nuisance, said Donald. It's to leave you behind I'd be wanting. Oh, are you? You're nothing but a screeching and a noise when all's said and done. Spite Dougie, would you? Take that! There's more coming, should you misbehave. Anyone would think, said Douglas, that Donald had his accident on purpose. I heard tell about an engine and some tar wagons. Well, well, well. Surely, James, it wasn't a you. You didn't say. Good morning, purred Diesel in an oily voice. Pleased to meet you, duck. Is that James and Henry and Gordon too? I am delighted to meet such famous engines. It's a wattle, a diseasel, I think. There's a notice about them in our shed. Coughs and sneezels spread diseasels. You had a cough in your smoke box yesterday. It's your fault the diseasel came. It isn't, it is. Never mind, the diesel smiled. Call me Boko. I'm sorry I didn't understand about the trucks. This is dreadfully smelly. I'm highly sprung, and anything smelly is bad for my swerves. He's very kind, said Annie. He reminds me of Thomas, added Clarabelle. Trucks are waiting in the yard, packing them with diesel. Show the world what I can do, gaily boast the diesel. In and out he creeps about like a big black weasel. When he pulls the wrong trucks out, up goes the diesel. You can't, said the van. I am essential. So you're Thomas, eh? I remember now. You got stuck in the snow. I took your passengers and Terence the tractor pulled you out. I've come to help you with your passengers today. Hello, said the tractor. I'm Terence. I am plowing. I do like to keep busy all the time, he sighed one day. And I do like company, especially children's company. I think railways are slow, said Harold. They're not much use and quite out of date. Because, <coughs> he said, my doctor has forbidden me to pull. 